Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at Mattel's DC Comics Multiverse Batgirl. Uh, now you guys know that I'm a Batgirl fan, so I figured that I'd uh, bring in a comparison with another Batgirl that's also the Burnside Edition, uh, that came out not too long ago, and that would be DC Collectibles, DC Icon Series Batgirl. And, uh... Yeah, I, this one comes with a bike, so it's a deluxe figure. It costs a little bit more than that, you know, $23 that uh, you normally pay with for just a single figure. Uh, so I was like, I don't want to buy one that has another bike. I would just like one with a standalone, so I can have one riding the bike and the other one just kind of as its own. So I was like, hey, you know, this one looked all right. I never saw them side by side together. And I was like, oh, not too bad. I'll get this one by itself as a standalone. This thing looks... Like, it was definitely meant for kids. One, you can see that obviously meant for adult collectors. This one, uh, while it's not terrible, uh, it, it's definitely not to par with, uh, you know, the DC Collectibles Icon Series one. Uh, so, I figured just for, like, a simple example, uh, let's just look at the, the cell phone here. You can see that this one has a black screen to where it makes it look like uh, it's kind of like an iPhone or, you know, some kind of smartphone. So, uh you know, silver on the back, and then, you know, here on the front, you know, where the screen is, it's black. So, just a, a little bitty thing of detail like that. Uh, here on the Mattel uh, Multiverse one, uh, you can't tell if, uh, you know, this one's obviously the back, and this one's the front. It's not even focusing. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but it's silver as well, so uh, really no detail there. Uh, she comes with a battering, a Batgirl ring. What I call so, uh, you know, all right, cool. Uh, then you have the uh, build a figure piece, uh, which is King Shark. Uh, so this, you know, looks like it's got uh, some articulation there. It's gonna have the elbow and then rotation here. So, uh, and then you know, rotation here. But uh, I'm not gonna collect all these figures. I just basically wanted this one. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say that it's a disappointment, but it's definitely not on the level as the Icon series. Uh, again, you know, just. You know, looking at the outfits, I, I like the brighter colors here where, you know, I'm not totally against this. Uh, the capes, you know, pretty similar. Uh, the the articulation, there's uh, quite a bit of difference there. Uh, just the belt, how this one's molded in to where this one's a separate piece just looks better to me. Uh, you know, I, I like brighter colors, I guess, as well. So, and the, uh, the, the face sculpts and the hair. Uh, to where you can see that this one, beautiful face sculpt, uh, you can see that that's definitely red hair. Uh, to where this, you know, if I didn't tell you it was hair, you didn't see it coming from the back of her cow. Uh, wouldn't be really sure what it was. It looks like a little red with some black wash to it. It just kind of looks like a, a, a tongue coming across her neck or something. So, uh, just a little look at them. This definitely looks more kitty. This one looks more like a, you know, kind of a woman, I guess. So uh, just a little quick look at that, but I uh, don't want to completely discourage you from you know, picking this up because still, uh, while it's not as good as the Icon series, uh, it's a, a good just standalone Batgirl, I, I think. Uh, so, you know, on its own uh, without comparing it to anything. So uh, just the hair kind of bothers me a little bit. Uh, she did have a little bit of a problem standing up, but now I kind of got her in a pose that uh, kind of works for her, just kind of, you know, standing right there like so. Uh, but as far as, uh, you know, details go, let's look a little bit closer in here. Uh, she actually has, it looks like, blue eyes instead of the uh, green. Uh, kind of like the blue. I also have this, like, little white thing going over here. So I kind of washed it and rubbed it. And uh, you can see a little bit still on her cow there. Uh, but that was a, a problem that I had with mine, you know, just right out of package. But it was the only one that was in store. Uh, this looks really nice and clean uh, as far as the yellow uh, bat symbol on there. You can see a little bit of silver paint here, a little bit of yellow going on there. Uh, then you can see with the uh, black shoestrings, uh, thinner stripe here on the black for her. Uh, but uh, we're... She has more articulation as far as, uh, you know, this rotates. So I guess not necessarily a thigh, but just a upper knee or lower thigh uh, cut joint where the Icon series doesn't. Uh, she does not have, you know, any kind of bending here. This just rotates as well. So anyways, uh, getting into the articulation, you have the head rotating. Uh, look a little bit of, you know, forward maybe, uh, but mostly just, it seems like it's just uh, side to side there. 
uh, it looks like the hair really doesn't get in the way that much, uh, which is good. Uh, cape is just plugged here onto the back to where it's not detachable like the uh, Icon series was. Uh, the arms, they go in and out. They rotate however you need to there. You do have a bicep cut here. Uh, you do have a bend in the elbow right there. And like I mentioned before, just a rotation here in the wrist. Uh, now with the ab section you can see just right there but you do have a articulation here at the waist you do have legs that go back and forth in and out that cut right there but our lower thigh you do have a 90 degree bend here nothing in the boot that's just stationary you can see that it's kind of just painted on top there but the feet do go back and forth and uh, I, th I thought they rotated but it looks like they just go back and forth there Huh, interesting. All right, but uh, there's there's a little look at her. I didn't want to spend too much time, but uh, yeah, here here's these two again, you know, side by side. If you're, you know, I'm just spreading her legs out. Uh, but uh, if you're trying to determine, like, which one do you go with, with two coming out, you know, kind of similar close time, I think within a couple of months or so, but uh, I would definitely go with the Icon series, but you have to get the, the you know, the bike, so they don't just sell her individually, so if you're not wanting to pay that extra amount of money, maybe you just pay the, you know, 20 bucks, you know, for this, or I think it was on sale, you know, for $18 or something, or $17 at Walmart, so figure why not, so anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later, peace.